What's up, everyone? This is Dylan here, coming to you with a deck profile of my six Sams uh, for July 2012. Um, I've made some a, a decent amount of changing uh, to the deck uh, since my last video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and profile it, and I want to go ahead and start out by saying that I apologize for my lack of videos as of late, but I'm going to, I promise you guys I'm going to work on that. I'm going to have more content for you all. As I'm right on the bubble of 500 subs, I feel like I should be producing more content for everyone to watch. Um, that means a lot to me. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and go on with the deck, and I'll explain things as I go. First off, and like any Six Sam deck, I run three Six Samurai Kizans. Uh, Kizan is a very good card. Um, I find it essential to run three in any samurai deck. He just spams the field. Um, and he is an asceticism target. A lot of people overlook that fact, but when he there are two other Sams on the field, he goes to 21. So you can use asceticism on Kizan to get out Grandmaster, but you couldn't use Grandmaster. You couldn't use asceticism on Grandmaster to bring out a Kizan. Um, but you could do it vice versa and bring out a Grandmaster. So, I really like Kizan at 3. I, I seen a profile the other day. Someone was running him at 2, which I found very strange. Um, next up, I'm running 3 copies of Kageki. Um, I, a lot of profiles I see, and a lot of people at my locals, <clears throat> there's 2 or 3 people that run Sam's. And a lot of people like to run this at 1, and some run it at 2. I still like it at 3, um, simply because <clears throat> I find it just really adds more consistency to the deck. Um, it helps you bring out Synchros insanely faster. It helps you go off with Gateway. It just gets you more Bushido tokens or counters or whatever they're called. Um, the only thing is the Veiler. When he's Veiler, he's kind of a dead draw, like a dead card. Just 200 attack unless you have like a Kizan or a Grandmaster. You can just special summon out and boost him up a little bit. So luckily for that, um, with the special summons and whatnot in Samurai's, he's still not too bad even if he does get Veilered. Uh, next up, I'm running three Kagamusha of the six Samurai. Uh, the main tuner of the deck uh, helps you go in level fives, level fours, any synchro, basically. He is a Cessism target. Uh, much like everything in this deck, except for one card, and well, three three different cards, and I'll show you them in a little bit. Anyway, main tuner of the deck, not much, not much else to say about that. Just a really good card. I like him at three. Uh, and that's all for the monsters I run at three. Uh, next up, we're moving to twos. Uh, I run two Elder of the Six, the Cyber Dragon of the deck. Just special summon him out if your opponent controls a monster. Uh, really cool little combo. You can special him out and then normal uh, Kageki. Um, and then normal Kageki. And then use this effect and hopefully bring out the Tuner. And go into level 8 to bring out Colossal Fighter or, or any other level 8 that you may choose to bring out. <coughs> um... I find Colossal Fighter works insanely well in this deck also, but I really like this at 2. If I ran it at 3, I would probably take out a Kageki, but I just like Kageki better at 3. Uh, next up, I'm running 2 Zanji. Um, really quick note, if anyone has an Ultra, please trade me because I need another Ultra one. Um, but anyway, Zanji, I really like it too. His asceticism target. <laughs> I have trouble saying that word sometimes. Um, but a really good effect also... Sam's, uh, everyone thought Sheen's effect was going to be the new the new Sheen that's thundering out here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But they thought it was going to boost attacks to 3,000, but it's only 2,000. And Samurais aren't really that heavy hitters. Their attacks are fairly high, but sometimes if you're going against Chaos Dragons or anything with a really high attack, you may take a few thousand points of damage or a few hundred, but you will get over their monster, even though in Chaos Dragons it doesn't help too much because they can just bring shit back because it spams like nuts <laughs> anyway uh, if you guys have another Zanji please uh, let me know because I need one and now we're moving on to the one-offs I run one Grandmaster of the six uh, I really like him at one two is kind of a dead when you draw and you've already got one on the field uh, seeing as how you can only have one at a time next up I run one Inishi a really good card pretty much like a Grand Mole on steroids uh, just banish two samurais and bounce a card back, uh, bounce a monster back. Um, but he stays on the field, so that's really cool. Uh, next up, one hand of the six samurai. Uh, this card comes in handy a lot. <laughs> that, that, that was a bad joke. Um, but yeah, he comes in handy a lot uh, just to get over big stuff that you may not be able to attack over. You know, just use his effect. A lot of people that I see play Sam's, for some reason, if they have a keys on and a hand on the field, 
they'll use hands effect and like destroy their keys on or like tribute keys on to destroy you can just tribute hand so I mean I've seen a lot of people misplay with that uh, next up uh, for the final actual warrior monster I'm running I still run one great Shogun Sheehan uh, really neat little effect with this card first off a lot of people don't like this card as much as it once uh, it doesn't have as much popularity as it once did but I like it because it creates its own little lock once uh, the Synchro Sheehan is on the field. Because a lot of times in uh, Samurai's people will use, like if you have Sheehan on the field, they'll activate something like Emergency Call and they'll ask you, are you going to negate with Sheehan? And you're going to be like, uh, no. Because what they'll do is they'll try to activate some off spell card and hoping you'll negate so they can just play like Dark Hole or Heavy Storm or Smashing Ground or something like that. Um, but what you do... If they try to do that and you have this guy on the field, a lot of people for, sometimes forget about this card's effect. Its effect is, uh, if you control, well, first of all, you have to special summon him if you have two six Sams on the field. Um, but his effect is your opponent can only activate one spell slash trap each turn. Um, so basically, if you got Sheen on the field and they activate something like E Call, they're like, are you going to negate? Hoping that with the next turn. Like, if you decide to negate, they can use Dark Hole, like, right after. But if they're like, okay, I'm going to use E-Call, and you're like, alright, go ahead. Um, that's it. I mean, they couldn't activate anything else because they had forgotten about this guy's effect. Because they activated E-Call, they can't activate anything else. So, that's that. And that's it for the actual Warriors. Uh, now, moving on to other cards. <laughs> I guess I'm running double effect Valor. Um, I only run two because I run the one, that one trap that negates monster effects that destroy. So that's essentially three. Uh, effect Valor is pretty much necessary in any deck these days. Uh, and for the last monster, I run one Morphing Jar. Uh, Morphing Jar is very essential and very key in this deck. Seeing as how basically you really run out of hand in a hurry in Samurais, sometimes even in the first turn. And this card is just simply amazing to top deck. Like, it's absolutely nuts. Unless you're going against Chaos Dragons, then you may run into a little bit of a problem. Anyway, we're going to go on to the spell lineup. I'm running one Gateway of the Six, simply because you can only run one. Uh, if you have a Sam deck and you're not using Gateway, you probably shouldn't be using a Sam deck, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, next up, I run Double Smoke Signal, um, seeing as how it's now at two. Um, I find it really useful at two. If anyone has super versions, please let me know because I need them. Then I'm running double asceticism of the six samurai. Everything in this deck is a says an asceticism target, minus the one offs like Valor, Morphing Jar, and of course Great Shogun Shin. And Hand of the Six is not a target of any other monster in my deck, but you know, really useful card. Helps you go into a lot of things. Uh, next up. I have three Six Sam Uniteds. I only have two. That's all I could find. I haven't actually bought the new structure deck. Um, and also, guys, I'm looking for Turbo Pack 5 uh, Six Sam Uniteds. I know they're pretty tough to come by, but I'd really like to get three super rare ones. That's like one of my highest wants right now out of anything that's out right now. Um, so, yeah. And then spells, one dark hole, uh, one reinforcements, uh, one heavy storm... I picked up a lot of new higher rarity versions of these cards also. It looks sexy. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. And Monster Reborn and one Book of Moon. So that's pretty self-explanatory on those. Next up for the trap lineup, we have... And this video is way too long. It's ridiculous. Uh, double Solid Morning. I don't have to explain too much about traps, though. Uh, double Compulsory. I really... Oh. What the hell? <laughs> double Compulsory. Um, I really like Compulsory over, like, say bottomless or a deep prison or anything like that even though I run two bottomless I still prefer the draw into this other than bottomless and mirror force or anything like that anything that requires them to attack uh, and wait for an attack I just really prefer bottomless I mean uh, compulse uh, next up I'm running as I just mentioned even though I said I don't really like this card I still run it um, double bottomless trap hole and if anyone has a gold rare version gold rare only uh, please let me know uh, if you guys didn't notice, Gold Rare is my high, is my favorite rarity of any rarity that's out there. So, yeah. And for the last trap, I run one uh, Magatama. Simply because I run two Effect Veilers, that's 
enough effect negation and trap cards are really tight and six samurais so I have to make all the space I can other ways next up for the extra deck we're running one shogun or one Sheehan one Naturia Beast one Catester one Barkeon one Bryonic and one Colossal Fighter that's it for the Synchros. Now for the Xyz, we're running one Levier, one Windup Zen Mains, one Invoker, one Giga Brilliant, one Leviathan Dragon, one Sheehan, one Blade Armor Ninja, sorry about that glare, one Shock Master, and one Steel Swarm Roach. So that's pretty much my extra deck. I mean, Samurais, you can tweak your extra deck to your likings, but... This is my extra deck. It runs really well for me. I really like it a lot. So please let me know what you guys think about the deck down below. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And this video is already way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and end it now. But like I said, guys, I promise to have more content for you all very soon. So thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up the video and subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks a lot.